this place of fear and fury. Do you hear it? The heartbeat of the lost ones. First and foremost, one of the most notable Microsoft exclusive games of the company's lifespan. The one and only Sinua Saga Hellblade 2 just went gold and is now coming out on May 21st on PCs and Xbox Series X only. Most of you know that it's been over 7 years since the first entry and Ninja Theory developers are promising to build on the first game in all the right ways using Unreal Engine 5, major overhaul in combat and a much more punishing nature. If you missed it, we actually got a new trade for it. just like the real world, except each loss becomes a lesson for your next deployment. We're hit. Carry it down. Coming in at second, right now the most anticipated strategy game of 2024, in fact, the longest awaited game in the list. See, Homeworld 3 finally hits PCs exclusively on May 13th. Developers stated this is over 20 years of work, there's a new roguelike mode, all in all it's gonna be a less punishing game than its predecessors and there's gonna be two camera control schemes, a modern and a classic, in addition to a whole different story. Check it out in case you missed it. Think you're ready for the real thing, Cadet? How did I go against you? Project Indica, however, is a psychological adventure horror game in nature, and ever since January 2024 it's been in pretty much most of our lists. The reason is that Indica's true nature is still a somewhat mystery, like we're still not sure if it's gonna be as realistic as the trailer suggests, or at least is it only good on the demo. Either way, the game is coming out no longer than a month from now as the company's first story-driven puzzle religious horror game. You can see I'm trying. But he's always behind my shoulder. I'm not really sure how old most of you viewers have been around, but if that would be a couple of years, then most of you know about the game V Rising. And ever since its early access, V Rising has proved to be one of the best action RPGs from an indie developer, except it's got strategy game mechanics as opposed to the usual action RPG and you play as a vampire. Here's the thing, V Rising is now finally coming out of its early access and due for the PlayStation 5 alongside the PCs on May 8th. Developers also came up with a new trailer. Driver, what news from Rhyme Home? So, it is as I fear. Moving on to number 8, we have here actually a remastered version of Morbid, now retitled to Morbid The Lords of Ire. Morbid, if you're just new to its name, is a souls like hack and slash role playing game obviously, as you can see, inspired by Bloodborne and looks, however, it's an asymmetric Souls-like, like the Diablo games. Developers are bringing now reworked graphics, mechanics, additionally more cutscenes and also in-game content. Yeah. 